So you're probably thinking, the Ubisoft hater is jumping on the bandwagon again. Fair point, but I would like you to hear me out this time. You see, at a glance it appears as if Dr. Thomas Foolery has rolled back into town. But um, there's a bit more to this one, and my stance is maybe not as harsh as you would expect. So it's been circulating for a few days now that Ubisoft has been deleting inactive accounts specifically on PC. For PC players through their platform, Uplay was what it used to be called, and um, whatever it's called now, I honestly don't know. Let me actually check. What is it called? Oh, it's Ubisoft Connect. That's right, Ubisoft Connect. Rebrand it and people will think that suddenly it's actually a passable Steam alternative, which it is not. And obviously the problem that's arisen is with this being a digital age now, well and truly, a lot of people own their games completely digitally with no physical copy. So they get redeemed for the account and then if that account is purged, their access to that game that they have bought is gone as well. So this drama that's now circulating in news articles started with a particular email being screenshotted and tweeted about. And so that tweet... Okay, where is it? So initially that tweet came from anti-DRM, PC Enjoyer, who said, Ubisoft closes your account if you haven't logged in for some time. You will lose all your games purchased forever. And the email effectively goes, Ubisoft account closure due to inactivity. Hello, we have noticed that you have not been using your Ubisoft account associated with email address, obviously blanked out for privacy reasons. We have temporarily suspended your inactive Ubisoft account and will be closing it. And then it goes on to say that if you want to recover it, just hit this link and all will be good, basically. And there's 30 days on. The average person's emails is probably clogged up with shit for days. So I'm not sure how much they're banking on people actually seeing it, but it's certainly an alarming email to receive when you might have games that you purchased on there. That is completely understandable. You see, having a digital copy of a game really isn't like having a physical. So if you go and get a physical copy of a game, you own something physically that you can use to insert into a console, a PC, whatever, and then the game will run because it registers that disc. Now, with a digital copy, it's entirely online. So you get a code that's one-time use, you redeem it on a certain platform for a certain account, and then you can only access it through that account. So whereas owning a copy of a game is owning a physical copy, owning a digital copy is little more than a license that allows you to access the game. So when that account disappears, that license is also void. This situation is just Ubisoft trying to comply with data protection laws, so we'll get into that in a minute, but it does definitely raise red flags with regards to owning digital copies over physical ones, which is becoming a raising concern amongst gamers, understandably so, for the reason I've just listed. A physical copy can't be taken away. A digital copy theoretically can, and this is one avenue through which it could, which is your account gets deleted. If your account is gone and you redeemed a code to a game on that account, then therefore that game is now gone as well and you can no longer access it. Which is doubly frustrating when it's Ubisoft. I mean, if you're like me, then you like the older Ubisoft games, like the old Assassin's Creed games. I'm sure I'll keep coming back to those until the cows come home. Some even older titles, but for the most part, the new stuff just doesn't interest me very much at all. And I've spoken a little bit about Mirage and why I feel like it is exactly that, a mirage, an illusion. But um, there's nothing about newer Ubisoft titles that wants to draw me back in to the point where my activity with a platform like Ubisoft Connect or Uplay or whatever they want to call it will slowly decrease. So there's probably a chance that if I, if I leave it for long enough, they might blow up my account <laughs> and then I'll lose access to all those old games. And no doubt there's a happy accident in there because plenty of people will be perfectly happy Purchasing those, well they won't be happy, but for the sake of convenience, they're not going to cause a fuss, they're going to just purchase those games again. So obviously Ubisoft support chimed in in response to that original tweet by going, You can avoid the account closure by logging into your account within 30 days, since receiving the email pictured, and selecting the cancel account closure link contained in the email. We certainly do not want you to lose access to your games. So why is this something that Ubisoft is doing then? Well... I'm going to explain it to you in perhaps the worst way possible. 
because my understanding of legality has always been slapdash. Basically, companies that run services, especially international services, that require you to create an account to use, have to follow data protection laws. In a lot of places, data protection laws also come with a clause that says inactive accounts that have been inactive for some time need to be purged because that data is no longer necessary to keep. For that to go into effect on an account, it has to be inactive for a considerable amount of time. I don't know what the time frame is, maybe Ubisoft support can shed some light on that, so here's what it says on there. Please be reassured that Ubisoft does not automatically close inactive accounts. As part of our terms of use in rare instances, we may immediately close inactive accounts to comply with local data protection legislation. This is only if we have strong reasons to believe the account in question will remain unused. We may also close long-term inactive accounts to maintain our database. You'll be notified by email if we begin the process of closing your inactive account, and if your account was flagged as inactive and you wish to keep using it, you can cancel the closure of your Ubisoft account. In other words, probably quite a long time. So, I've seen different numbers thrown around for this, the lowest being 6 months, the highest being 4 years. So, you would have to be inactive for quite a while for this to go into effect, at which point it is probably a fair calculation that the chances of you logging in again are quite low. So the root of the issue isn't that Ubisoft is doing this, it's whatever, but it's the fact that if you've purchased digital games, then they can block your access to that through this. and. Yeah, that is definitely a cause for concern. I don't necessarily think it's a Ubisoft problem, but more an industry-wide thing that needs to be addressed at some point. And that is that it is treated more like a license when you purchase a digital copy than actually owning a physical copy of the game. So what that means is it's easier to block that access and restrict it than if you just had the physical copy, which you could bang into any PlayStation if it's a PlayStation copy, any Xbox if it's an Xbox copy. But aside from Series S, they don't have... CD ports, or any PC, provided your PC even has a CD drive, they don't really come with them anymore. And of course, more people are purchasing games at home digitally than purchasing physical copies from game shops, which have seen a decline in clientele, or from, say, online places, because they'd rather just have it instantly. As a result, it wouldn't take a wizard to foresee that there is a future where physical game copies are no longer an option. And... Considering digital copies are easier to block and restrict and do these things with, it's a fair assumption that there will be companies that take advantage. I'm not a massive Ubisoft fan, especially not these days, but I don't really think this is an example of that. I think the best solution is a drive to keep hard copies of games circulating, um, but there also need to be some revisions with regards to what owning a digital copy actually means so that it can't just be taken away because you haven't logged in in a bit. And it's also probably worth mentioning that these companies don't necessarily want to delete your account. They love your data. They know you better than you know yourself. So the timers on things like this are going to be long periods of time. And for the average person, it's probably not going to be a massive issue that after a certain amount of time of inactivity has passed, an inactivity contingency is in place that would delete that account because most people just simply won't be inactive for long enough to find out. I'm not awfully sure about the specifics, but look, two things really need to happen. There needs to be a way to define games from accounts so that in the event that an account gets closed, you don't necessarily lose access to the digital games. For example, they could send you backup keys or something like that, plaster on a broken leg, but whatever. Or, consumers just need to be more mindful about the benefits of owning a physical hard copy of a game. But those are my thoughts. I would love to hear yours down in the comments section. Look, I love knocking Ubisoft when it's justified. But honestly, this time it just seems as if they're the example rather than being the actual problem. The actual problem is what does owning a digital copy of a game actually mean in the long term? And if your account goes inactive, can you just lose access to what you purchased with no form of compensation or anything like that, it is interesting. But yeah, no, I didn't want to bash Ubisoft for this one because I, I, I see a greater problem, but also, you know, a proper meal being made of something that perhaps isn't as severe as it sounds at the same time. But look, thank you all for watching, listening to my ramble. 
I hope that you've gained something of value from it, even if it is just looking at my, my lovely face for 10 minutes. And I hopefully I'll be seeing you all very soon. But until next time, take care and goodbye. <laughs>